What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be going over the top five differences between GCSE computer science and A-level computer science. Before we start, 68% of you guys are not subscribed so if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure you subscribe because that helps me create more and more resources for you guys. So the first difference is the first topic which is CPU. With GCSE, you know that registers exist, they are components of the CPU so MAR, MDR, ACC, PC, all of these registers you learn. However, you're not supposed to know how the registers actually work during the fetch, decode, execute cycle. This is what you learn in A-level because it's a little bit advanced. You have different types of buses. You have address bus, data bus, so on. These buses help communicate and basically you will learn the CPU in much more detail. Another thing that's really related to CPU is You've heard of von Neumann architecture. So this architecture, you, you kind of get a glimpse at it at GCSE. But at A-level, you also learn a different architecture, which is called the Harvard architecture, which you need to know to compare. So this is slightly different, slightly more advanced, but obviously you guys know the basics of von Neumann. So you just have to build upon that knowledge. Anyone that hasn't done this for GCSE, you guys should spend the summer trying to go over this. Again, you can find topic-wise notes on the website gcscomputerscience2.com. So moving on to the second difference is operating system. So this was under 1.5 in the OCR specification. You guys learn what is meant by the operating system, the roles, the functions, all of that. However, there's a specific topic called memory management, which we go into much more detail. In memory management, you learned that one way the computer does it is by using virtual memory, remember? So with virtual memory, we also learn paging and segmentation. These two things you learn additionally in A-level is basically building upon the foundation that was built in GCSE. Now, moving on to number three, which is people's favorite topic, which is databases. At GCSE, you learned that you can use SQL to find and query items from a database. This database had usually one table. However, in A-level, we introduced the notion of relational databases. So as the name suggests, there's a relationship between different tables. That's what it means. And we have more than one table. So if we have more than one table, how are we going to query items? So it becomes a little bit more complicated. Don't worry, I got you guys. Make sure you subscribe on the TikToks because I'm going to be making lots and lots of short form content so that it's easy for you guys to digest the information. Now, the fourth difference is my favorite and this is algorithms and data structures. Algorithms you should be familiar with um, from GCSE, so bubble sort, merge sort, insertion sort, binary search, linear search, all of these searching algorithms, sorting algorithms you're going to be learning in much more detail. What I mean by this is that you kind of got the pseudocode for GCSE but for this one you're going to need to know it fully you should be dreaming about these algorithms every day you're going to also learn how to analyze these and which one is more efficient in a mathematical terminology we use the big o notation just basically think of it as like having pizza the smaller the o notation the faster it takes you to eat the pizza i'm joking i'm waffling but anyways, with these algorithms, you're going to learn an extra algorithm, which is quicksort. The name isn't really helpful because it's very slow. You learn why, but quicksort, you're going to learn as well as the code. And you're going to have a very, very fun time learning merge sorts algorithm. Also, I talked about data structures. So you know that remember arrays, that's a data structure. And what do arrays do? They store the same data type items under a single identifier. And remember that they're indexed as well. That's one type of data structure. However, in A-level, you learn many more. You learn what stacks are. Stack meaning last in, first out. You learn queues, which is first in, first out. You learn linked lists, which are basically, you have nodes and data, and you have nodes pointing to other nodes. And you also learn trees. Not those type of trees, but trees as in binary trees and, and, and graph. This is going to be very exciting for you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I am very excited to teach this topic when, whenever I do so. It'll be coming very shortly, so make sure you're subscribed and a sub to the channel would be fantastic. Anyways, five. The fifth difference between GCSE and A-level is object-oriented programming. So, so far you've been programming uh, like normally 
procedurally using procedures however now we introduce the notion of objects what are objects objects are a real life entity objects can be for example if we create an animal an animal has attributes and methods attribute meaning its name its species type and methods meaning what the animal can do so for example it can eat it can sleep um, it can I don't know think of some leave them down below in the comments but we introduced the idea of object oriented programming so we're creating objects and using them don't worry if you guys don't understand what I'm trying to say but object oriented programming is going to be tested in paper 2 and it's you know how you had section B for paper 2 in GCSE well in this section B in A level you're going to have object oriented and you're going to be coding in that so again if you haven't watched the previous video I tell you guys you need to be fluent in programming make sure you use this summer to learn programming especially Python so this this is the best advice I'm going to give you because otherwise later down in the path it's going to haunt you basically wish I listened to GCSE computer science tutor when he was banging on about like learning Python so make sure you learn Python or any programming language you want but Python's the most easiest one to get started with so to conclude why did I, I go through these differences because it's very important to know what you're getting into you guys haven't heard about these things but you've known it from GCSE so it's important how GCSE things link on to A level so use this summer wisely again if you haven't subscribed if you haven't commented I don't know what you're waiting for comment down below let me know what you guys want to see and I'll make that happen for you guys I want you guys to do well and I'll see you in the next video